Hey there YouTube, this is Rocco the Retro Repairman coming at you with another repair video. Uh, this Frankenstein uh, PlayStation 2 Slim, uh, North American Territory um, region, just uh, as any of the other PAL or Japanese. This had the uh, card for the internet on the old board and obviously I took the cooler uh, shell to a completely shot to hell um, silver PS2 uh, slim and encased it in this one and kind of made my own put a brand new laser in it so it's Frankenstein from uh, three different consoles well I don't know how it happened but my wife and my brother-in-law uh, they they love to play the PlayStation 2 and so do I and uh, you know we have an extension cord to run because there's so many systems hooked up I'm going to do a separate video just showing you the highlights of my game room and the kind of uh, magnitude of, of, of games and stuff we have at hand to do reviews on so just shoot a comment and if you want me to do a video review or some gameplay footage uh, I'll gladly hook you all up but meanwhile let's get back to cases uh, we know the PS2 uh, Slim has uh, different uh, power supplies. This one is that oddball yellow, expensive, hard to find, uh, eight and a half uh, volts DC power supply with a yellow tip, and it looks like a laptop adapter for the inverter. Anyways, um, this P PlayStation 2 is a tank because I built it from parts. I Frankenstein this thing. Rocco Retro Repairman did his magic, blew the whole thing out with air. CRC electrical clean the board all the ports the uh, multi out as well as the uh, the controllers were all cleaned and done up and uh, you know things the tank put a new laser and it leaves there's like six dollars for these things they're like 40 percent more for the the ps2 fats I don't know why but whatever probably because they're actual Sony chips uh, chipped um, not chipped but uh, S Sony uh, laser products because everyone I've bought for the fats have always been official Sony replacements however anyways back to what we're doing uh, this DC port uh, is loose what I mean by loose is that the on the board which we have to access so while I'm talking I'm gonna open this up you're gonna need a flat head a small screwdriver not a micro but a flat very small head and a small crosshair to achieve this task so you're gonna pry the feet up just carefully because we want to put them back in and uh, a lot of these little plastic tabs come up too and it's been a while since I've messed with one but these are fairly straightforward the laser replacement on these are a simple cake project uh, I think the hardest part is identifying the anti-static point on a uh, PS2 uh, slim laser let alone most of them all so long story short I'll do a video on that when I get another broken one in with a, a, a necessary repair of that magnitude but right now I'm just making sure I'm not taking too much uh, stuff off more than we need to so so what happened is uh, I put t firmly the uh, a, a PS2 uh, power supply into the uh, system here and it it played but my wife was playing it the other day and just midstream it stopped when I was out of the room and presumably what happened is what I believe is that someone tripped on the wire and didn't say anything and it just jerked the port you know it's a solder joint uh, it's about 12 years old what the PS2 strong in 2002 yeah it's at least 12 15 year old console so I mean you're, you're working with some old material here so the solder joint, you know, needs to be reinforced, and I'll show you how to do that. It's easy for jeezy. So uh, don't worry about all that. And I don't think I need to show myself reassembling this thing because literally it comes apart, and the, there's minimal cables involved. So I'm not gonna show myself putting it back together. Most likely, I might. I don't know. It depends on how quick we get it done. So I already started heating my soldering iron. But as you see how quick that came off, I'm going to set this to the side. Alright, now, what we need to do is get in here, underneath the board. So, and you can actually see that's, that's uh, loose there. I'll bring that up to, yeah, let's actually see 
that that's wig, you know wiggly so we're gonna have to get this board out so I don't think it's in there loose now I'm trying to remember how the heck did I do it so, so here's a screw here uh, cross type came right out alright so wow that gets that so what else is this hung up on uh, I don't think it's that screw because that's part of the CD assembly I'm going to put this one aside since we know that's for the case the innards the innards I think it might be nice I need some yeah see this should just come up This one too. I bet. Now I'll probably come up. take these screws out like a fool. So rather than stuff get unaligned, I'm going to put them back. But I figured out what you have to do. I just don't like to stress these cases. And it's been, like I said, some time since I've done the last one. so watch that ribbon cable and this is what we're doing is if you see right here we're going to heat up these solder points solder sucker for that. But anyways we're going to still finish reflowing these joints here. You know, why do people always try contacting me when I'm uh, busy you know? Not always the thing. So weird on how that works right? Like oh I got nothing better to do. Call me all you want. But God forbid I have to film a YouTube video for my 
friends and followers here. Oh, forget about it. Public enemy number one. Alright, so, let me get my uh, son of breed. Whatever the hell it is. Hmm. Well, I got the sucker, so. Come on, sucker. Takes me off. Oh, found it. Had my my friend over the other day. And stuff got wild, so. tip for my solder guard. Oh well. Gotta pay the piper as they say. So speaking of slider back in the case control reports first. That should pop into place. So as we know we have skewed this one. It's like right here. only thing holding it down, you're telling me, was like this piece right here. That's insane. That's the only thing holding this thing in. So, make sure to reposition our uh, push button momentary switch and IR sensor. That's that bad boy there. 
So you want your set your uh, iron sensor here and your push button momentary switch. Slide right there. Okay. Now we take the case and put it back like this. So yeah, I'm just gonna put the screws in. So I wanna show you guys the outfit. So how many small Phillips or crosshair types were there? Two, four, six. And remember, crisscross your pattern of working with old plastic folks. So excited to try this out. And we shall see the result. The result will be in. And all I gotta say is, whoop, there it is. Looks good to me, buddy. So now you know how to reinforce the DC port on the back of your uh, PlayStation 2 Slim. And this goes for a lot of consoles, especially the uh, Atari 2600 Junior. That's a notorious, notorious bad boy that goes uh, bad. So again, Remember, you got six uh, crosshair micro screws. You're going to need a soldering iron with a pencil tip and some solder and a steady hand. And I hope to uh, see you guys uh, next time. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll be sure to hopefully have a haircut by then. Been on daddy duty for some time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. God bless you guys. Have a great one.